Saracen the Aluco Violet pitchers are super variable. If you look behind me, you can see all kinds of different pinks and reds. But one of the ones I want to talk about today is Saracenia leucophylla Hurricane Creek. It's a very famous name, and if you've grown Saracenia for very long, you've probably come, into, come across that. So what is that referring to? Hurricane Creek refers to a place that used to exist. It still exists now, actually, but instead of being a beautiful leucophylla bog where these white and green plants grew, now it's a really beautiful off-ramp um, off the freeway. So sadly, that site has been extirpated. We've, uh, plants were collected decades ago and through horticulture, we've kept those going. And so these are genetically identical to those plants. And we cross them all the time. I'll cross one Hurricane Creek with another Hurricane Creek to make babies that basically came from there, even though that place isn't even there anymore. So that's really cool. And that's how cultivation can help uh, conservation. Now, another thing I wanna talk about is not all Hurricane Creeks are created equal. So this is a very uh, classic and beautiful Hurricane Creek. Typically, these plants had uh, no red in the pictures at all, green venation, and very, very white. Some of the most beautiful leucophilas ever came from that place. But here's an exceptional one that I made right there. It's just pu pushing up its uh, first fall picture of the year. And that is what we would classify as a Saracenia variety alba. Alba means white. And this guy, the alba varieties, you know, people want to see almost no venation in the, in the white at all. And if you look at that, there really is almost none. If you, even if you come up above, Daniela, you can see there's one green vein right down the middle. And then that's it. And when you compare these two together, you can really see why somebody would really want this variety Alba, just a little bit more than these, although they are super beautiful. So that's where some of the confusion can be. Sometimes you'll see like a site location and then maybe like a color variety afterwards, because even at a site, uh, those plants can be, can be wildly variable. 